गुड आफ्टरनून यस गुड आफ्टरनून सो इन आर प्रीवियस क्लास वी सो अबाउट प्राइम एंड कंपोजिट नंबर्स यस एंड हाउ टू फाइंड द प्राइम एंड कंपोजिट नंबर्स बिटवीन 1 टू 50 वी सो एंड आई टोल्ड यू टू डू 1 टू 100 यू डिड दैट एक्टिविटी ओके Yes. Okay. And uh, I told you about twin prime numbers also. Okay. So today we are going to see prime factorization. Okay. Prime factorization. Means here we are going to factorize the numbers. Prime factorization means. See if a composite number it, it can be shown as the product of prime factors only the prime factors. Okay, so if the factors are written in multiplication form only the prime factors of a composite number if it is written in multiplication form that is prime factorization. Understood? Yes. So there are two methods to find the prime factors. There are two methods. One is factor tree method that you have seen last year. No factor tree method. Page number fifty. You know factor tree method. No. We will revise once again. Okay. And one more is division method. That you are going to learn this year new division method. Okay, so we will see how we can find the prime factors of a composite number. So first thing, first method is factor tree method. Okay, we will see that first, and then division method we will see. Okay, we will take one example. Thirty-six. I have taken this example. We have to find the factors. Yes, Sarta. Yes, ma'am. Any problem is there? Any doubt? You can ask your doubts at the end of the session. Ten minutes before that. Okay. Now thirty-six. So in factor three, we have to split the number, composite number. So thirty-six. How we can you can split? Yes, very good. Six six is a thirty-six. So uh, uh, how you have done family tree? Like that we can make a factor tree where the factors will be there and trees will have uh, branches. Like that we can make your branches. Okay. So your thirty-six six into six. Okay. Yes, but here you can see six is a composite number, so we can't. Here we need only prime number as the answer. Okay, so again we can split. If a composite number will come, then we have to split again. Okay. Yes, two three is a six. Again, six also two. Three is a six. Okay. So listen. Till you get the prime numbers, we have to continue this method. Okay. So here we got all prime numbers. Two, three, here also two and three. These are prime numbers. Okay. So we have to stop here. Understood how to do? Yes. Yes. Now the prime. Of thirty-six is what we have to write the prime numbers in ascending order in multiplication form. Okay, so two into two and three into three. Okay, when we write the factors in multiplication form. We are you have not to multiply that. It's in carefully chapter. When we are writing the factors in multiplication form, that is known as prime factorization. Okay. 
So here we wrote the prime factors in multiplication form. So this is the answer. Understood how to do? Yes, we will take again some more examples. Just mute yourself children, you are disturbing the other class. Other children. Okay, 84. I will take the number 84, composite number. Now how you can split 84? Which table 84 will come? Two it will come. Yes. Okay. So we can here you can use the divisibility test also. Yes, twelve also it will come. Yes. Twelve, seven the yes. You can take twelve seven the twelve seven the Okay? Yes. Yeah. So 7 here, 7 is 7 is already a Yes. Here 7 is already a prime number. So you have to stop here. But this is a composite number. So how we can split that? Two, six. Now here you can see two is the prime number, so you have to stop here. Till we get prime number, we have to continue. Now six. Six is the which number prime of composite? Yes, it is a composite. So two is a. Okay? So like this we can make a factor three. Okay, and we can find the factors. Now tell me the factors of 54 here. We have to write in ascending order. Prime factors. 2 into 2. 2 into 2. And 3 into 7. 1, 6. 6, then. You are not to multiply this. Only you have to write like that. That is the answer. Prime factorization. Is this only? This is the answer. What whichever prime numbers we have got, that you have to write in multiplication form. Okay? Okay, so this is the answer. Understood how to do? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, factor tree method, all understood how to do? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now we will go to second method, that is division method. You know short division? You know? Yes. So, here for division method, you should know the short division method and you should know the divisibility test also. So, if you know these things, you can do easily division method. And you should be perfect in tables also for this. So, I am telling you, learn the tables. If you know tables properly, this HCF, HCF, easily you can do. Okay. So, second method is division method. Yes. Okay. So we will take one example. Division method. First I take smaller number. Then you will understand easily. Okay. I will take. First I will take 12. Okay. 12 is a smaller number. We can do easily. Yes here. Yeah. Mute yourself. Okay. Now. When we are doing your short division method, how we used to do like this we used to right now for short division, same method you have to follow. But when we are dividing this number, only the prime numbers we have to take. So when we are finding the prime numbers, we are prime, only prime numbers you have to take. Two, 3, 5, 7, like that. 
Okay. So here 12 is there. Now according to divisibility rule, 12 will go in which table? 2, 3, 2. Yes. 2, 6, 12. You have to write the question here down. 2, 6, 12. Understood first step? First step understood? Yes. Here? Okay. Now after this, see the second step. We have to extend this again. Because we need to find the... Till we get 1, we have to continue the short division. Till we get 1. Now 6 is there. Again which prime number we can take? 2. Yes. 2, 3 is a 6. Okay. We got 3. Again we can extend. Now. Yes. 3 is a prime number. So we can take 3. So 3, 1 is a 3. So here till we get 1, we have to continue this method, short division. Understood? Yes? So the answer is B is the prime number. So we have to write where it is equal to 2 into 2 into 3. This is the answer. So like this, we have to do the prime factorization. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So this was a smaller number. Now we'll take a bigger number and we'll see. Okay. We'll solve more examples because to find the LCR, to find the LCR, we need this. Okay. We need this division method. So it is very important to understand it carefully. Okay. Okay. So we'll take one example here. Uh, 48. I'll take 48. So 48 will come in prime number. You have to start from two, the smallest number. Two table it will come. Divisibility rule. Yes. 8 is there means so two table it will go. So you have to take two here. So two, two is a four. And 2, 4, 8. Yes, 24. Okay, this is first step. 2, 2, 4, 4, 8. Next. Again, 2 we can take. We can take 3 also. 2. 48 is not a prime number. It is a composite number. We have to find the prime factors of that 48. Okay. So, here we are taking prime numbers. 2 is a prime number. We are dividing. 48 makes 2. So, 2, 2 is a 4, 2, 4 is a 8. Now, next again, 2 we can take. 2, 1 is a 2, 2, 2 is a 1. Yes. 2, 6 is a 12. 2, 3 is a Okay. So prime factors are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. 1, 2, 3, 4 times 2 and 3. Got it now? How to do? Yes. We'll see again some more examples. Seventy-five. Now, which prime number you can take for seventy-five? Seven is in seven table. Seventy-five will come. Fifteen. Fifteen is not a prime number. Only prime number you have to take. Five. Five table it will come. Seventy-five. Yes. Five. One the five. Two will remain. Twenty-five. See five. One the five. So seven minus five is two. So two will remain here. 
If you know the 15 table directly, you can tell 15 fives are 75, 5 fifteens are 75. Yes? Three tables also it will come 75. Three also it is divisible by three also. Okay, so only I am telling you, you should know tables properly and you should know the divisibility test properly. Okay. Now see, 55, 15 is 75. Okay. Now, yes, 15, 3, 5. You can take 3 also here. 5 and 5. Yes. So, 75 is equal to, we have to write it in ascending order, small to big. 3 into 5 into 5. This is the answer. Yes? Understood? Yes. Okay? Yes, we take one 3 degrees and one more. Yes, ma'am. Because Which prime number you can take? 4 is not a prime number. Only you should take prime number. 2, 3, 5, 7. 2 you can take. It will come in 2 tables. 4 will come in 2 tables. Yes. 2, 8, 16. And 2, 2, 4. Yes, that's the correct. 2 eight are 16 and 2 2 the 4. Got it how to do? Only you have to take prime numbers here. You can't take composite number. So only yesterday I told you that activity. So you should remember which are the prime numbers. Only prime numbers you can take for prime factorization. Okay. So here when we are, this is a composite number. When we are of finding the factors, only prime numbers. So, 2, 3, 5, 7. So, here we can see 4. 4 will come in 2 tables. So, we can take 2 as 2 prime numbers for this. So, 2 is a 16, 2 is a 4. Now, tell me, if we do how many can take? 1, 2, 2, 4, 2, Again, 2 you can take? 2, 4, 2, and 2, 1, the. Now, 41 came. 1, But here, 1 is there, no? 41 will come in 4. 2 table. 2, 2, 2, 4. But 1 is also there, no? That full number it is. 41 is a full number. It is not separately 4 and 1. It is 41 is a full number. So, 41 should be divisible by 2. Means, remainder should come 0. Here, 1 is remaining. Mama, 5 is a 15. 5 is a 15. 5 you can't take. Okay. Just you see page number 49. Just you see page number 49. Then, what activity yesterday we did that is shown there. There you see 41 is circle number or cross number. So what I should do is that which numbers are circled, those are prime numbers. Yes. So 41 is circle means 41 is circle means it is prime or composite. Prime number. So, 41 is also a prime number. So, it will not come in any other table. Only in 41 table it will come. And in one table. So, whenever prime number comes here, you have to take directly 41, 1 the 41. Okay, so only you should know the prime numbers properly. In your textbook, they have given 100 prime numbers. Which numbers are 
This fill in the blanks. Next, uh, fifth one, draw the, uh, this sieve of erythrosis, erythrosnethenes to find out the prime numbers between 101 and 250. Okay, that method what we did yesterday, that is this method only. Okay, you can find out this. 
the same you can make from 101 to 250 you can make okay next yes yes prime factor chart this prime prime number finding prime and composite number that next is use the factor tree and use the division method that okay so factor tree method and division method understood properly okay now we will see hcf yes Okay, so now we will see our next important topic that is HCF. Now HCF, now we saw factors. We know now factors, how to find out factors. We know about prime and composite numbers. We know about prime factorization also. Okay, so if we have to find the factors, common factors, it's two numbers factors if we have to find. And common factors, common means same factors. Two numbers, they can have same factors. Okay, some numbers like uh, 4 and 6. 4 will come in 2 table also and 6 also will come in 2 table. So 2 is a factor of 4 and 6 both. Yes? 2 is a 4, four also and 6 also. 2 is a factor. Like that many numbers are there. So for any 2 numbers or for any 3 numbers we can find the common factor. Same factors. Okay? That method is finding this HCF. Now, HCF means highest common factor. Highest means greatest. The Which is the greatest factor which when the any number is divided, you will get the remainder as zero. Means the greatest factor, greatest common number, that is known as HCF. Okay, so HCF means highest common factor. Okay, what do you mean by HCF? The form of HCF is highest common factor. We can find the highest common factor of any two or more numbers. When we have to find the factors, common factors, same factors of two or more numbers, we have to do this method. Okay? So, before going for HCF, before going for highest common factor, we should know to find the common factor first. Then only we can go for highest common. Highest means greatest. Okay? So, first we will see how we can find the common factors. Okay, I'll take one example. I'll take 6 and 4 only. Small number, then you can understand. Okay, tell me the factors of 6. 6 will come in which which table? Back 1, 2, 3, and 6. Okay, 1, 2, 3, and 6. Tell me 4. Yes. Okay. Only these are the factors of 6 and 4. Now we have to form, find common factor. Common means same factor. Both number, which same factors are there? 1 and 2. Yes. We need to do one and two. So the common factors are 1 and 2. Okay, so got it? How to do? How to find the common factor? We have to find the factors and which are the same factors we have to circle. Now, you tell me which is the greatest one out of these two? Two, two is the greatest. So, LCF of 6 and 4 is 
two. Which is the greatest factor? That will be the which year? Understood? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, like this, we can find the HCF. So, there are three methods to find the HCF. To find HCF, there are three methods. One is listing factor method. Means by writing the factors, listing the factors, this method. This is first method. Second is prime factorization method. We did prime factorization, no? That method. And third is division method. Okay. So we have to learn all these three methods to find the HCF. Okay. Yes. Okay. So first we will see the first method. Okay, first we will see the first method of finding HCF. That is listing method. Okay, we will take one example. Uh, let us take 18 and 24. These are the two numbers. We have to find the HCF of these two. So first method what we have to do? We have to write the factors of 18. Tell me the factors of 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 6, 6, So there should be the pair should be there. Then only your factors are same. Means three sixes are six threes are two nines are nine twos are. So one eighteen is eighteen ones are. Okay, so two two pair one one pair should be there of the factors. Then only your factors will be completed. Okay, so here eighteen will come again nine in middle. 18 will not come in any other table. After 9, it is coming in 18 table only. Okay? Now, factors of 24. 24, tell me. 1. Start from smaller number. 2. 3. 4. See that uh, when you are writing the factors to just see that we are getting pair or not. Here see 3, 4, the 4, 3, the we are not getting 24. So we will continue. See? Now see here carefully. 4, 6, the 6, 4, the we got one pair. Yes, till we get the pairs, we have to continue. Now see, 4, 6, the 6, 4, the. So this is middle pair. Now tell me again which? 8. We got one more pair. 8, 3, the 3, 8, the. Now 2 and 3 is the same. 12. 12. 12, 2, the 3, 12, the. Last will be the 1, which 24. Okay, now understood how we can make the pairs. With that, we are finding factor to be easy. Okay, now tell me the common factors. Which which are there? One, two, Three and six. So, it's 
find the factors. So this fourth method is listening factors method. Understood? Okay. So the next two methods are the rank factorization and division that you will see in our next class. Okay? Okay.